Hey, this is Zach, aka Chaos Incarnate, once again with a uh, video tutorial. Uh, some people have commented on my last uh, uh, explosion video tutorial and they said that, um, well, they said that it sucked. Uh, just the, the frame rate and the, the, the resolution and the, the lagging and all sorts of stuff like that, and it was really just kind of a crappy thing, and so they have complained to me. So, because I listen to people, I'm listening now. So I'm going to do it again. So I've started with my empty picture here. And it's pretty empty. And I am going to take my paint bucket tool and fill this all in. I'm on a new layer, by the way. You don't want to fill in your background, for heaven's sake. Uh, and I'm going to deselect that. That's really so that... I can see what I'm doing when I'm painting my next area, which, since it's blank, I really don't need to see what I'm doing, but it's part of the process. Gosh. I'm going to take a big fuzzy brush. Big fuzzy brush. I'm just going to make some kind of like that. You kind of make parts that shoot off. Because, I mean, explosions have, oh, hey, it looks like a heart. Oh, it must be like, I must be like subconsciously having feelings for something. What does this one look like? Tell me about your mother. Sorry, psychoanalyze people by looking at Photoshop plots. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to grab yellow now. And I'm going to, uh paint in some stuff in here, and grab my white and paint in some stuff in here, and I'm going to go up to my filter, blur, Gaussian blur, mm. I kind of want it all to like blend together more, but not become this like big fuzzy indefinite shape, so I think that's going to be fine for me right now. Um, and then I'm going to say, this, this layer is still selected, I'm going to go down here and click on that and make a hue saturation adjustment layer on top of that. I'm going to click this button right here to make it so that this adjustment layer only applies to the layer immediately underneath it, which is that one there. Okay, that's done. Make a new layer, put my brushes to default. And go up to filter render clouds. Easy easy. And I'm going to change this uh, to color dodge. Oh, it looks like fire. Except it's gonna look better when you're done with it. Add some noise. I like noise. Let's make some noise. That looked good. And now I'm going to go into my uh, blur. That's what I'm looking for. A radio blur. This is going to be my explosion epicenter, so I'll put it somewhere around there. Put this to about 15, 16, somewhere around there. And it's going to make everything kind of just, you know, with the, the speckles and stuff like that, it's going to look like everything's just kind of like, <clears throat> you know, and all that. there it is right there. Like, oh my gosh. You, know, you look at this and you're like, well, I don't know what's in the middle of that explosion. But somebody getting jacked, you know? And so, go back to my adjustment layers. This one, I'm going to make a levels layer. Doing anything with it yet? I'm gonna click that same thing there, and I'm going to make one more layer on top of this. Go back to my brush. I've made a brush tool. It's my Sparks brush, and it makes randomly sized, randomly shaped, randomly random randomness. I'm gonna have this on black, and I'm just gonna kind of throw some stuff in this explosion. So it looks like there's stuff in there, you know? And then I'm going to switch it over to white, and 
and I'm going to throw some sparks out here. And then I'm going to make this a bit bigger. And I'm going to put a few sparks that look like they're really close. And then I'm going to hit Control F because that's going to use my last filter, which is the radio blur, all the same settings, all the same location, positioning, everything like that. And that's going to make these little things look like sparks and stuff and just crap flying out of this explosion. It's going to make you wish that you weren't there right now because, honey, who would want to be in the middle of an explosion? Let's be honest. Unless you're like some creepy person. Okay, this layer is selected right now. I'm going to hit Shift and click this black layer. And then I'm going to hit Control G. And it's going to throw them all into a group. Now, this group can be adjusted as though it were a single layer in the. Um, whatever this is called. Uh, put that to screen. And there's how that looks. Now, I'm not done because then we need to make this look pretty. Uh, this guy here, I'm going to double click on that. Put an outer glow, put the size down to zero so it looks a bit sharper, put that opacity up to 100%, and make this kind of an orangey color. More orange. More, more orange. Yeah, that's the one that works. That looks good. Now we're going to go down to the hue saturation layer, which is over. Blob. I'm going to desaturate this a bit. Makes it look a bit more fierce and explosive. Which is good. That's me. Make it look a little more orangey. That's good too. Then I go up to my levels, double click on that. Now you see that it's got this little arch thingamajig here. If we take this and move these handles. That cover that arch. That is also going to change up the definition of the explosion and just kind of make it look more like you wouldn't want to be there because you wouldn't. I mean, honestly. And I'm going to minimize this whole group. Click on the background, make a new layer. Once again, I'm going to use a brush that I made myself so you guys don't have it. It's my clouds brush, and I'm going to take this and I'm going to put in brushing just a bit of smoke in the back. Just kind of give it some volume, give it some character. I'm happy to smoke. You know, just, just thinking and imagine, you know, what kind of life this smoke has had. You know, it's short life since it was created. And kind of put yourself in those shoes, you know. And uh, just put some happy little smoke over here. And uh, maybe, maybe follow up with some happy little fire. Just, just become one with whatever the hell it is. Probably should have said that. Heck, whatever the heck it is. I had my mouth covered, so, you know, you didn't actually hear it. Honest. And, um, there you have it. It's a big old giant explosion. And it's glorious and fantastic. And it looks all explosive stuff like that and so this has been uh zach Hale, aka chaos incarnate with another video review if you have any questions about this um feel free to ask me uh, you know you can leave a comment here on youtube or wherever you find me um you may have my email address you may not some of you people watching this know me from wherever or saps um so yeah, if you got any questions or if you have anything that you'd like me to do, just let me know. And this is uh, Zach Hill signing off.